Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the Vita Graphics plugin. So what this plugin does, it lets you, um, you know, limit the FPS so you can increase it, and then it also lets you change the resolution in some games. So if you guys are interested in this, um, I'll show you the games it works with and some more details about it later in the video. But what you want to do is just go ahead and start up Vita Shell. And then once Vita Shell loads, all you want to do is just press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on the PC, I will leave all the links to everything you will need in the description. The first link is just the Vita graphics plugin itself. So you can scroll down, you can read a bit about it. As you can see, it's a plugin that allows you to change the resolution and FPS cap of your PS Vita games. So that means you get better visuals and higher FPS or longer battery life. So there's actually only certain games that this works with. If you scroll all the way down, it has a list of all of the supported games. So the game I'm going to use is this one right here, uh, Ridge Racer. It's just like a, a racing kind of game, but there's quite a few games that this works with, uh, mostly the best PS Vita games like Little Big Planet and Killzone and stuff like that. So yeah, um, there's probably gonna be some more added as well. I think it even says here, adding support. Um, but yeah, kind of interesting. So this is actually quite complicated to install because you need to download certain plugins and add them into certain files. So we can actually make this a lot simpler by using the auto plugin. So I've actually already made a video on this application. You guys might have it installed. If you don't, make sure you check out this video and install it right now. It's really good. It's basically like a PSV to homebrew store, uh, but it has loads of plugins in it. So make sure you get that. And then the second thing you want to get is just the Vita Graphics Configurator. Basically what this is, is a really simple GUI that lets you configure it. It's um, basically this thing here, but in GUI format, so it's just so much easier. So you want to do is scroll down and click Download VPK. Keep in mind, I've already got the Auto Plugin VPK installed, so I'm not going to be downloading that in this video. But once you got your VPKs, go to your Downloads folder, just find them and drag and drop them onto your PS Vita. So now I'll go back onto my PS Vita and show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so back on your PS Vita, you want to find where you put the VPKs. So mine are in my UXO folder, so I'm just gonna go there and scroll all the way down. Um, so here is my Vita graphics. I've already got auto plugin installed. So I'm just gonna press X on the auto graphics configurator. X again to install. Make sure you have unsafe homebrew enabled and then just press X again. So once that has installed, we can now close out of Vita Shell. We don't need it anymore. And you just want to scroll down and you're looking for the auto plugin. So just press X on that first and then press X to start it. So mine has an update, so I'm just going to do that right now. Right, so now the update is finally done. All you want to do is just press X on install plugins. Now scroll all the way down and we're looking for the graphics plugin. So it should be somewhere on this list. Here it is, Vita graphics. All you do is just press X on it and then it should be installed like that. Also keep in mind, uh, I just installed that on my URO. If you wanted it on your UXO, you would use left and right to change it. But I've already got that installed now. So all you wanna do is just press start to close. Now it's gonna ask you to restart. So just press X for okay. And your whole PS Vita is just going to reboot quickly. So my PS Vita has just restarted. I'm just gonna launch the HNCOT update again. So just exit that real quick. Okay, so once that has done, um, now what you want to do is just find the Vita Graphics Configurator. So here it is on my home screen. Just press X on it and then press X on Start. Right, so it's just going to come up like this. And what you do is you press left and right to go through the games. So scroll across until you find the game you have. Um, my one was Ridge Racer right here. 
Okay guys, so on the game that I have, uh, which is Ridge Racer, we can actually change some stuff. So we can enable this, we can enable OSD as well, and we can change the internal resolution. So right now it's actually set to the maximum resolution. I'm just going to set it to a bad one just to prove that this works. So let me just find one. So apparently 640 by 368 is a resolution you can use. So I'm just going to put that in now. 640x. 3, 6, 8. So I probably wouldn't recommend using this one. It's just for like battery life and stuff, but it is always a good test. So just click the green arrow and then it will be like that. So all you do is just press X on save config and it's come up, gonna come up with configuration saved. Now what we can do is close out of the configurator and you can launch up your game. So here's mine, Ridge Racer. Let's just go ahead and start this up right now. As you can see, we've got a notification at the top just to let us know uh, that the plugin is actually working. And of course, you can look at the guide and change all of those other features as well. Um, there's probably some other stuff you can change like FPS and stuff. But hopefully, there will be a few updates to this simple pro program that let us do that. So apparently right now, the resolution is slightly worse. And I think on the car it doesn't actually look too bad. Maybe the scenery, uh, I can definitely notice it. But yeah, I'd say probably the resolution does actually look a bit worse. But right now we're actually going to have a look in the um, Vita Shell settings. So if you scroll up and just go ahead and open up Vita Shell, just go all the way to the main menu, then go onto the UXO, go into Data. In here you're looking for Vita Graphics. And this is where your config file will be. So as you can see, once in here, this is where we can change all the other settings. So it's pretty cool. Um, this will be um, for, you know, many games. There's so many different settings in here you can add. As you can see, um, this code right here is for the game. So if I scroll down, um, to be honest, I can't exactly remember what the code is for my game. I might have passed it already. Um, but you guys get the idea. This is where you would edit all of the settings um, for enabling FPS and all the other stuff like that as well. And it tells you how to do that on the GitHub. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.